My cats are being awfully rambunctious today. They're actually in the middle of fighting, and I just grabbed Zone Kitty, or I should say, Zone Kitty walked up to me, and I picked him up. You're supposed to do that on camera, not off camera. Silly kitty, I can't tippy toe that high. Ah. <sighs> Good afternoon, Internet. This is going to be another quick vlog day. I'm probably not even going to bother editing this, to be honest. So, one of the things that I decided to do was a tag video, because I apparently never do them. So, I had just finished watching Dale Kingsmail's um, Accents tag video. Dale Kingsmail is a geek and sundry blogger, but more importantly, she's Australian, which means she has some very interesting ways of saying words and stuff like that, and I always find that type of thing really interesting. The main reason being is that I'm a Floridian. Um, South Floridians don't have a southern accent. If you can't tell from the way I'm speaking, I don't have a southern accent. It's not that I've suppressed it or anything like that. This is actually my natural accent. It's because South Floridians actually have a Midwestern accent. With a couple of very slight differences that probably won't even come up in this tag video. So, let's see, I've got my tablet here. I'm going to go ahead and read off some of the words. Maybe I'll do a little bit of editing and actually put the words on the screen so you know what I'm saying for those of you that don't understand a Midwestern American accent. Um, I'll describe a bit more of my accent after I go through some of the words. So let's see. The words. Ant. Roof. Route. Wash. Oil. Theater, or theater, if I really want to be dramatic. Iron. Salmon, or salmon. I say both. Caramel. Fire, water, sure, data, ruin, crayon, New Orleans or Nolens, depending on, you know, who I'm around, pecan or pecan, it depends on if you're referring to the actual, you know, little nut things, or if you're talking about pie. Both. Again. Probably. Spitting image. Alabama. Lawyer. Coupon, mayonnaise, which I just realized it means I don't pronounce the O in mayonnaise, even though I usually just say, call it mayo. Whatever. Syrup, pajamas, caught, naturally, aluminum, envelope. Those are the words that are on this tag list. There's also a few questions. Uh, let's see. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? I've heard it usually referred to as TPing, but I'd have to agree with Dale. It's just rude. What is that bug that when you catch it, it curls up into a ball? Uh, I think it's called a pill bug. I've heard it called lots and lots of different things, but that's because I've lived around a huge chunk of the United States, so I honestly don't know. What is that bubbly carbonated drink called? Um, well, this one is called seltzer water, but I'm pretty sure what they're referring to is soda in my mind. I have lived in places where it's pop. I've also had lots of my friends call it Coke. It's soda to me. It's kind of what I grew up with. What do I call gym shoes? I believe they're referring to sneakers. I have also used tennis shoes. Really, I use the two terms interchangeably, but I primarily say sneakers. What do I say to address a group of people? Hi. Hello, everybody. I try to not use y'all, which I'm pretty sure is what the question is actually aimed at. The reason means that, one, it has a very poor image when it comes to the United States. The people that with southern accents are viewed as not very well educated and things like that, and if I'm outside of the South, I'm not going to use y'all, even though that's a completely missing part of speech in American English. It's very strange. After learning Spanish, I actually started using y'all. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Oh. What do you call the kind of spider or spider-like creature that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? Well, that would be a daddy long legs. It's not necessarily a spider, but it, it would be a daddy long legs. What do I call my grandparents? Well, I had grandma and grandpa is the way I refer to them now. I only have one living set of grandparents. Um, my mother's mother I called Nana when she was alive. Uh, I used to call my grandparents Grandma and Poppy, but I kind of shifted when I was about eight or so, when I actually 
was constantly around them and things like that, and it just never shifted back. I never knew my mother's father. He died well before I was born, so I don't have a name for him. What do I call the wheeled contraption which I carry groceries around the supermarket? Uh, my shopping cart. Didn't realize that one was really any different. I guess trolley. I've heard people call it that, mostly Brits or non-Americans, I should say. What do I call it when the rain falls when the sun is shining? Florida. What's that thing that I change the TV channel with? Um, a keyboard, because I don't use TV, says normal TVs. Uh, remote control would be the term that I would use, but keyboard, mouse, you know, usual stuff. What do I generally, generally call confectionery goods? Um, baked goods, do you mean? Um, delicious cookies? Um, might be referring to candy. I, I honestly don't know what this question is referring to. Uh, let's see. What do I call the flimsy open-toed sandals that you would wear on a hot day or to the beach? Flip-flops. Uh, alternately sandals, but usually flip-flops. Ooh, squirrel. Is there a nickname often given to McDonald's fast food restaurants? Uh, Mickey D's would be the term that I normally hear. I don't use it because I don't like McDonald's personally. Um, Ronald's Revenge would be the other one. Um, I guess Ronald's Revenge is what happens after you eat McDonald's. Nowhere near as Taco Bell Revenge. I just realized I totally accidentally a verb. So, um, if you've noticed... Uh, for those of you that live in the United States, you notice that I speak with a Midwestern accent. I kind of mentioned this before, Floridians have a very nearly identical accent to somebody that lives basically in southern Michigan. Uh, it's the general area that we match the most, I believe. The reason being is that Floridians didn't really live in Florida. So most Floridians are, even the native-born Floridians, are either, you know, imports from other states, or they are descendants of imports from other states. There's very few, you know, natural-born Floridians, especially in South Florida. And by other states, I don't just mean the United States, I also mean different countries and things like that. So, for those that have different countries, they frequently keep accents from their own family and things like that. So, they would not really be identified as Floridian at that point, they would be identified as Latino, or they would be identified as Cuban, or they would be identified as... British, or you get the idea. It's You want to identify them as Floridian. Um, for those that come from different states, either one, they pick up parts of their parents' accents, which I didn't, actually, or two, they pick up what they hear on TV. That's the main reason why Floridians seem to have a Midwestern accent, is because all of our TV anchors are from Detroit. It used to be a stereotype in the United States that they wanted Detroit-based news anchors because they had the most generic American accent that everybody can understand. As a result, a lot of American accents started drifting toward that, except in Florida, which is one of the last places in the continental 48-state United States area to actually have a large population, that's kind of what they grew up with. I mean, all of their friends had different accents, their family had different accents, their family members might even have two completely different accents. So what do they do? They use the accent that they hear the most, which would be what's on the news. So, that's kind of the... Re there are a couple of differences. From what I've heard, Detroiters actually can't roll their tongues, or roll their R's at all. <laughs> doesn't work for them, apparently. I don't know why. As a result, if I start trying to speak Spanish, which I'm not going to do because my Spanish is atrocious at this point, and you have somebody from Detroit trying to speak Spanish, you would hear completely separate accents. The reason being is that I had much... I had a wider exposure to various different Latin groups, um, not just Cuban or Puerto Rican or Mexican or insert other groups there, but also Castilian Spanish and um, other varieties of Spanish and things along that nature. So my Spanish is more of a neutral Spanish rather than a weird American's attempt at a Spanish accent. It's kind of strange. Yeah, that's about it. Um, hope this was kind of interesting. I mean, it's just accents. I'm just talking. There's blank background, but this is Friday. You should be happy that I didn't do another cat video, or sad that I didn't do another cat video. I will be doing another cat video, by the way. I, I promise that much.